Yo, crypto nation and mining family. Crypt crypto nation and mining family. What's going on? And of course, like always, it's not financial advice. Yo. Yo, Crypto Nation and mining family, what's going on on this happy Friday? You know, it's the end of the week and all that good stuff. So, of course, today is uh, my day off from work. So I'm able to kind of, uh, you know, play around with my rigs, do some testing, cleaning, you know, all that good stuff that a miner does when he's got the time. Um, so, today's little episode is uh, going to be me testing out something on SMOS, uh, which is Simple Miner OS. So if you guys are utilizing Simple Miner OS, um, this might be one that you may or may not want to test out with. Um, I was kind of curious on it, um, just because of the fact that, uh, like Hive OS, take for instance, um, I can mine on all the GPUs, delegate which GPUs are mining what uh, with uh, setting up multiple miners and then um, assigning which miners go to uh, which graphics card goes to which miner which is a really nice feature uh, it also allows me to set it up to where I can also mine on the CPU now if you go into simple miner OS you'll see that you can <coughs> configure the miner for mining Monero and stuff like that but you can't configure it through their GUI to be able to mine on your CPU plus your GPU at the same time not saying that you cannot do this it's just that well there's another way to do it um, so I'm gonna show today how to uh, set up how to con configure XMR rig on Simple Miner OS. Um, I know that uh, one, another YouTuber, um, son of a tech, he had configured, um, what was it, XMR stack onto Simple Miner OS. I'm not a real big fan of uh, XMR stack. They have a few shady things in their coding that I'm not really a fan of. Uh, so going along with that, I do support XMR rig, uh, their coding is a little bit more open source. Uh, so I mean, I like my open source coding. It always seems to do better. With that being said, guys, let's dig in. So, um, first thing that we're going to need to do is pull up a command line um, for Windows, because I'm going to do this all through my main PC. Uh, my Simple Miner OS runs with no monitor, no keyboard, no mouse. It's what they call headless. So I can either go in through the uh, web GUI or you can like uh, SSH or PuTTY into it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to SSH into it. So it's going to be, oop, not that one. So you hold down the Windows key on your keyboard and then press R and that'll pull up the run command. Uh, so I want to run my command window. So now we've got this, right? So let me go ahead and make this bigger. So the first thing that you want to put into here so that you can actually access everything, let me get my cursor out of the way, um, will be SSH, meaning we're remoting into it. Um, now, I did play around with trying to get into it at first, okay? So you don't want to put Simple Miner and then the uh, public IP address. You want to sit there and put Miner in because that's the username on this. Miner. Yeah. And then I already know um, if you guys ever want to figure it out, you can go into Simple Miner um, and look at the Miner itself and it will tell you the IP address, the public IP address, or you can go onto your uh, router and look at the IP address from there, uh, which one is ever easiest for you to find. Um, so I went, uh, went on to Simple Miner OS myself, uh, grabbed the IP address, and um, the local side of it, you can only access this if you are on my side of the firewall. So 
Dot now this is the local IP address. Now the last few digits are the rig itself, which for me, 117. Now it's going to ask you for your password. Um, the password is going to be your uh, email address that you used for accessing this. Um, I've got a really generic one that I have only used with my mining rig. I don't use it with anything else. Um, just because in case somebody tries to hack it, it's not connected with any personal data at all. So this one, I, you know, like I said, it's just a dummy address. And bam, now we are actually in the rig itself. Uh, so the first thing that we're gonna wanna do here, from here, I mean, you can see my GPUs and all that good stuff on the rig, bam. Uh, so you can definitely tell that I am in the device. Um, now, if you're gonna be sitting here and mining on the CPU on this, you are going to have to leave the uh, command line window open while mining. Otherwise, as soon as you close it out, it also turns it off on the miner side. So the first thing we want to do, because this is Linux, is update. Um, always, 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 first thing you do is update. Um, so, let me go ahead and... So, sudo apt get um, assumed yes on update. Not sure. I, I'm I'm not sure exactly all the call out codes, uh, commands for simple miners Linux all the way. And I'm using some of um, son of a text uh, coding here um, for creating um, XMR stack because some of the stuff here will work just fine. And this is the first time I'm actually running through this myself, so I actually am not sure how I'm going to do this. I might fail doing this, which is just fine. <laughs> All right. So we've got the CMake build essential. So basically, uh, Simple Miner OS does not come with a CMake function. So I've actually got to put that all in here. Uh, before I can actually move forward. So the next thing I'm going to do is a sudo app get install c make. Um, bam. So now we're done. And since I've got all of this, I almost want to sit here and run a um, sudo reboot. Um, just the way, you know, we just did an update on everything. So now we just pseudo rebooted. I have no idea how long it's going to take for it to come right back. Probably look at the rig list. It should be down right now. Yep. Now I'm just kind of looking at the, the dashboard for Simple Miner. I'm waiting for it to come back because I just forced it to do a reboot on there.
making sure all the updates take. This is how you make all the updates finalized in uh, Linux. And if you guys mess up with uh, Simple Miner in any way, shape, or form, that is fine. You can always remake the uh, USB uh, device on there and you are back to square zero. Uh, I wonder how long it's going to take for it to reboot. All right, looks like it's starting to boot back up now. All right. All right, so it's almost back up all the way. Starting the mining program for the GPU side of it. And I should be able to SSH back into this now. Bam. Bam. Back in. All right. So from here, this is where um, we actually get to start building everything. So I'm going to try to build this like um, I did on the Pi. And I'm going to see if it works. I have no clue if this is going to work. I don't need a dollar sign. Alright, so... It, it looks like it calls out right. Copy. We're going to find out here. Okay. It's not giving me any errors. So we're going to keep on going until I get an error. Oh, so I've got my first, ah, because that is for the pie itself. I wonder if I can change... Hmm. I wonder if I need to put that in or not. Because it basically changes the... What I was trying to do is a pseudo chown uh, pi pi xm rig. It was supposed to change permissions to pi user instead of uh, root. Um, so I'm not sure if I really need to do that. We're going to go ahead and we're going we're gonna to press on past that and see if it hangs up anywhere else. go. So far, so good. All right, let's see if we can get the clone on here. Oh, I might need to do pseudo. Yes, I had to put pseudo in front of that, <clears throat> which is fine.
And let's see if I can download the library now. Now, this is kind of cool. It's just downloaded my library. So we're going to go ahead change my directory once again. I hate when I do this. My highlighter doesn't want to highlight my notes. Copy. So changing directory once again. So now we're in the directory for this. Whoop. I need to pseudo that. I bet. have to pseudo everything. If it's like, oh, cannot build, permissions denied, pseudo gives you admin permissions. So, <clears throat> so I'm probably going to have to do the same thing All right, here. Oh, come on. There we go. So I'm going to go in front of this. Pseudo C make. Perfection. And then my favorite command will be pseudo make. And boom. That means we're compiling code. And I think I'm gonna, I, I, I haven't found anybody that has built XM rig onto Simple Miner OS. So if this works, I will have the first tutorial on how to do it with uh, Simple Miner OS. And this is definitely showing that, without a doubt, it is compiling. And yes, guys, it's still mining on the GPU side. So this is not interrupting the GPU side until, you know, you reboot the rig. And then, of course, it terminates the mining um, until it reboots back up. So that little bit where I, um, I rebooted it for the updates, that was the only time that the mining had actually come to a stop, uh, which is very nice. Yo! I'm kind of hoping this works and I'll be able to compile this exactly how I have it on the pie where I can uh, basically go into it type in XM rig and it should just start running so I'm going to try to compile it identical and make it nice and clean And note, just to note that when you are mining on the CPU, uh, make sure that you have a, you know, a, a cooler that is adequate for the amount of wattage that the, the CPU can handle. This way you don't get any thermal throttling off of it. And know that once you start mining on the CPU, it does increase your uh, latency just a little bit. So um, you might start seeing a couple of uh, submitted stale shares here and there um, only because of the fact that you're putting a really big demand on your mining rig. So um, mining Monero is not the most profitable, but if you've got a bunch of idle CPUs not doing anything, um, you know, 
it'd be nice to, for me, I usually like to sit there and just kind of play around with it. So, oop. the next thing I want to do is uh, check the uh, build version. I'm going to see if this actually works. Hey, the callout works. Oh, that is amazing. So, we have XM Rig officially installed 5.5.3, which also means that I need to um, remake my uh, Windows Miner and update that because, of course, it doesn't auto update for me. Yay! And I'll also have to update my Pi because uh, I believe I'm on 5.5.1 or 0.2. So I'm either one or two generations back on the miner on both my Windows and on my Pi. All right, so uh, the next thing that we need to do is um, to basically make the uh, the configuration the config.json file. Um, Copy. Paste. Oh, you permissions denied. This thing is wanting me to pseudo everything. All right, that's fine. Boom. Pseudoed into it, so we just basically made the config, uh, um, the file for the uh, the JSON dot config. So the next thing we want to do is actually access that. So we need to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sudo everything in here. So sudo nano um, forward slash home forward slash xm rig forward slash build and forward slash configuration dot json. And if you're ever worried about you're not building it right, like you're not sure about the directory, you can tab complete. So you can put forward slash h tab and it should complete home, and then. X tab complete rig, you know, and so on and so forth. Boom. Now we got the configuration file. Look at that. All right. So now that we're in the actual configuration file, woo, um, which this is really good sign that I'm able to access all of this. Um, let me see here. I've got huge page is true and I'm also going to do let's see here yeah all right so from here guys you can sit there and start just popping in your own stuff so I'm going to call this one um Oh, let's see, what should I name you? Let's see here. Uh, I'll call you Medusa because that's what I've uh, named a rig. Um, let me pull up some stuff here. Yeah. Let's see here, pull this up. No, I don't want to update it right now. We can do that in a second. <laughs> All right, so there's going to be a couple of things that we're going to want to do right off the bat, guys. And I want. All right, yeah. You know what? I'm going to do it this way. I'm not really like 100% organized with this one. Alright, y'all. Yeah. up another page. Let me go into Mount Nero Ocean a little bit, y'all. Yeah. And let me open up the ports because I'm figuring that this thing should do between. 500 hash to a thousand hash a second. So the first thing that we're going to 
take is the URL um, and let me go ahead and get underneath the quotations and just delete this and oop control V does not do that I'm so used to Windows whoopsie on the wrong side of you. Put you back up over here. You know. There we go. So, shift, got that back, the quotation. So, the next thing we need to do is put the port number in. Uh, put the colons in and um, in uh, Monero Ocean, which is where I'm at, um, they've got what you're guessing the uh, how many hashes a second it should be. Um, so I'm going to put this at 116 because um, you don't want to sit if you put it to um, particular different port numbers, it's got different difficulty ratings for it. Um, so kind of keep that in mind guys uh, and what I'm going to do here is see if they've actually got a let's see if they've got a donation address somewhere here so I don't want to put my particular one on there uh, let me see if I've Got a donation address loaded up here. Wallets. Copy. Turn you off. Turn you off. And let me make sure that this is my donation one. All right, cool. That's my donation wallet address. Excellent. All right, so. Erase this. Now I'm going to put the donation wallet address in here. Bam, just like that. Now, the next thing you want to do is you're gonna come up to here and you see the donation level go underneath the little uh, comma backspace one all right uh, this way you got the lowest dev fee on here and guys if you want to learn how to do to take get rid of the dev fee um, you can either try to figure it out yourself or or you can uh, check out the patreon link down in below where I actually have everything for you to be able to remove dev fees altogether, guys. So, whichever way you feel like doing it, um, you can either become a part of the uh, late nights, late night mining uh, with me and Mikkel, and uh, you can get some of the behind the scenes knowledge. Yo! So from here, guys, we have it configured. So I can control O. Hit enter, we just saved it, okay? And then you hit control, X, and we just exited out. Yo, see how easy that is, guys? It's super, super easy. And then from here, you could just run it. Um, so, let me, so I should be able to do a quick dry run. Ah, I said, yeah, there we go. And then copy. So I should be able to do a dry run on this. See what happens. Boom! It works. Look at that. It works. Yo! So, from here, now I'm going to have some fun. I want to sit there and see if I can organize it. So, 
going to make a, a run directory, see if it'll let me. Oop. And of course, sudo everything. try to do is I'm going to change directory. Alright, cool. Work with me. All right, so. Tab complete. Oh, grab my other notes here. Makes my life easier because I got I got notes like freaking everywhere. All right, so X. Tab complete. B. Tab completes. And then X. Tab complete run. Alright. So then the next thing I want to do is the same thing over here. Of course, I'm going to have to pseudo this. I'm just getting this portion done right now. And H. Tab completes. X. Tab complete. B tab complete, and then and let's go all the way back to the beginning on this because I'm gonna have to pseudo this. Hmm. I wonder if I gotta do this like one at a time and it might not let me do all of it. Let's try this again. Let me go ahead and yeah, I like that. I like that right there. Hmm. So it doesn't look like it's going to let me move the directory over. So it's not going to let me clean it up. <laughs> All right, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, which is perfectly okay. Which means... Come on, I said over here, yes. Copy. So I should basically be able to make the call out. XM uh, home, XM rig, build, XM rig. It should run. Or how do I make this thing run now? Hmm. That says... 
Let's try dash run. Let's try dash dash run. Now how come it does dry run though? It's not letting me move it, move everything over. I don't know why. It's like I need to do this. It's not letting me for whatever reason. Definitely in the XM rig folder. And let's see if I can go into
I wonder if I accidentally, if it did get changed over to the run directory. Hmm. Instead of build, we'll try run. Ah. That's actually a... Hmm, that's interesting. This shows that the con uh, that the XM rig is in the run location. But the configuration is not. Why? Hmm. Okay, so that seemed to just move it. Hmm. I'm going to... Let's try this now. See if this... Oh, come on. Come on, computer. Cooperate with me. It seemed to take that. Fingers crossed. Let's see if this works. Yo! I got it! Yes! Uh. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. She's mining. Oh, yeah. Give it my little O face. Oh, oh. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see what she gets. We have huge pages enabled. Yes! I've only got two threads on here. It's only a dual core processor, so you can't you can't expect a whole lot off of her. Come on, I want to see hash rate. It takes it a, a a little bit to show that beautiful hash rate. Oh. I'm actually kind of excited. I've got Monero mining on Simple Miner OS. Yo. Ooh. This one doesn't get a whole lot of hash off of her. Ooh. Hopefully that's just like round one on it. Cause that's that's horrible. I mean granted it's an Intel chip. And I believe let me let me go over here. Let me see what the which hardware I've got in here. <laughs> so this one's got a Intel G4400 
That's a Pentium processor. And it doesn't look like it gets huge hash rate off of it. All right. But that's actually pretty cool. So if you guys have any questions or anything like that, um, the only thing that I might want to do, so in order to stop the miner, um, you make sure that you're clicked on the command window and it's control C and it stops the, uh, stops the mining rig immediately. Uh, just like it will work the same way on um, your Pi or if you've got a Linux machine that's running, uh, 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 control C is to kill the program. Um, so if I wanted to get back into here, and I wanted to change something in the uh, configuration file, right? So it's now going to be su oops, sudo nano. Um, Here we go. My notes. Ugh. Have everything on notes. Notes on notes on notes. All right. So it's going to be sudo nano forward slash home tab um, XMR rig. Instead of build, it's now in the run folder. And boom, we're now into here. Yo. So, the one thing I wanted to try out on here, because I don't have it enabled, is um, it's got one gigabyte pages, so we will go from false to true. Uh, we shall try it out that way um, and see what happens, right? So, uh, control the letter O, enter, saved, exit, and then XMRIC. Boom. All right, so it does not, uh, the CPU also does not support um, one gigabyte page files, which is fine. Uh, and the other thing I wanted to double check, um, I have had an issue with it in the past. Um, I just want to go back into it really quick um, as soon as it exits out of the mining program itself. Come on. There we go. All right, so let's go back into the configuration.json file. And the next thing I wanted to make sure <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm going to come up underneath here because for some reason, and I never understood why, um, that uh, Monero is actually not in the list. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that in there. And what it's going to do is it's going to add a little stability to it. Uh, Rx forward slash zero and we're going to put that that in there so now that's correct Now that's blue. True. Oop, wrong one. I need that one. Boom. So now we just added in a uh, random X in here so that it'll actually hold on to that a little bit nicer. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead, control O. And then, oh, so now I just made sure that it won't try to switch over to 
uh, Loki or something like that. Um, it seems like um, XMR stack and XMR rig, if you don't put that in there for whatever reason, um, it, it well, especially XMR rig, uh, it will switch over to Loki and start mining on Loki, uh, which that's not correct. Uh, so I just basically help make it a little bit more stable. Um, and I've got one more rig running on Monero. So, if you guys found this video very informative, of course my computer is going to be a little slow. Uh, come on, computer. Go ahead and minimize this. Come on. There we go. Bam. Uh, my button was like being a little slow because I'm mining on the CPU, so it kind of makes everything just a little slow from time to time. Uh, but <clears throat> I hope you guys found that very informative and all that good stuff. Um, if you guys got any questions, if you've been, if you got hung up anywhere, certainly um, hit me up in Discord. Uh, links are down below. Um, if you would like to get some of the behind-the-scenes knowledge. Uh, Join our Patreon, links down below. And while you guys are down there, smash that Lizzie like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification if you like these videos. And if you find anybody that you think that a video like this could help out, certainly send them my way. It helps the channel grow. Um, it helps me get all that awesome knowledge out to all of you guys. So um, that was actually really fun. Um, it's the first time I'm compiling it on, um, on Simple Miner. So, as a dry run of not knowing what I was doing, you got to see work in action. So, definitely, I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.